it took a whole tank of fuel on the 455 just to cut one, two, three, four, four and a half cuts. So you tell me how much wood's in that. Um, I was going to use 357 XP, but the chain was a little bit dull on it. So I got this 455 from a guy. And actually what had happened is he knocked the chain off and it knocked a hole in the case. And I had to JB weld it. And then he stripped the nuts out. So I had to put washers behind it. But he'd sold wood with for years. He still does. And I think he cuts, he said, 30 to 40 ricks a year. So, and he had this off for five or six years. So he'd cut, you know, hundreds of ricks with it. Then he put it in the shed and bought a new one when the hole got knocked in the case. And he'd stripped out the nuts. So I picked it up from him for like 50 bucks. And I ran it for about five or six years. It's old faithful. It, uh... It don't mind to cut wood. Getting ready to use a 55 here. I sharpened the chain on it. Haven't used it yet today. But Ryan's been over here with the John thread. He put a brand new chain on, so his is cutting a lot straighter than mine is. You don't notice if your angle's off a little bit when you're sharpening it on the bench top, but the bigger the cut, the longer the cut, as you know, the farther off it gets. So, Which it ain't horrible. I mean, they look all right. A little crooked, but... So, well, I'm going to put some oil and gas in that one and maybe grab the 55 and we'll keep on at it here.